Wow! UAV is being RTB for resupply. Hey what's up guys, Metaphor here and I just want to pop in before the video starts and say that I'm probably going to be streaming live when you're watching this video if you watch it uh, right when it comes out. Twitch.tv slash Metaphor. Stop in, drop a follow and come say what's up, tell me you're from YouTube. Going to be a lot of new people in there because I haven't streamed in a week even though I've been uploading more videos so there's going to be new people in there. You're probably going to see people from the comments in there. Come say what's up, uh, come talk to the people over at Twitch. We love meeting the YouTube people. I'll see y'all soon, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Peace. Yo, what's up guys? Metaphor here, and today is the day. Well, yesterday was the day. The DMR, the MAC-10, everything finally got nerfed. We finally got some good nerfs. The new meta is actually here this time. Uh, I know I just recently made a class at a video, but they actually fully took these guns out. I know that people are still saying they're okay, but trust me, they're not. Those guns are not very good anymore. I'm sure you're still going to die to it every once in a while, um, but you know, the gun still has to be able to kill people, right? So at the end of the day, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, now some of these loadouts are going to seem a little wonky, and some of these guns might seem a little wonky, but I want you guys to trust me on this. I've been doing a lot of thinking, uh, especially since since I haven't been playing that much I've been thinking like okay well they're gonna nerf the DMR what's gonna be good and I know I showed you some things in my last video uh, but after some testing and some checking some stuff out this is my fully updated best season one possible loadouts you can run right now like I said before guys some of the stuff is gonna be a surprise to you uh, a lot of it probably won't but there's definitely gonna be some stuff in here that you guys are gonna try out and be really shocked by so first things first we have the Bruin coming back in my opinion I think the Bruin has actually been good for a while. Uh, the only difference from the, the new Bruin and the old Bruin is that you don't actually use the 60 round mag because they actually gave this quite a bit of recoil. So you just use the default 100 round mag and you actually get to put on uh, attack laser and command of foregrip. So it's a little bit it's a little bit slower than before, but the recoil is going to feel pretty much the exact same as it did before the nerf. I think this gun's going to be really popular, and once people start picking it up, like once the big, big streamers start, you know, talking about it again, you're probably going to see the Bruin come back. I'm also rocking the MP5. You're going to see this on pretty much every one of my classes. This is the Cold War MP5, not the Modern Warfare one. This thing actually has more ammo than the Modern Warfare one, and I think after the nerfs to the Modern Warfare MP5, the Cold War MP5 is actually a bit better. Uh, this setup is actually insane. The Bruiser Grip is just... Guys, this thing makes so many Cold War guns usable. I know you guys have been seeing my other videos. You see me be gassing this up. Trust me. If you haven't, if you don't believe me, just put this on your guns. They have no recoil. Like, I'm telling you, guns that used to have recoil, once you put this on, do not move. I know people are saying it doesn't work, and people are just saying that it's a lie. Trust me on this. It is insane. Uh, and this is my setup on the weapon. For the next gun, we have the Amax. We already covered this before. I'm not going to go over it again. God tier weapon. This gun hasn't really been changed. I don't think it's been changed at all since it came out. Um, and then I have the MP5 with it. I don't really need to talk about that. We have the car set up. You guys already know the car set up. I don't, I don't gotta show you guys this, but the car 98 is usable again now that the DMR is gone. We got the MP5. We got the MP5 on pretty much every class because I'm not gonna sit here and BS you guys and be like, well, for here, the 74U would be better, or here, the P90 would be better. Now, I'm not trying to say that like those guns are completely unusable or anything, but I'm talking about the best of the best right now, and I think the MP5 from Cold War is actually uh, completely legit, so highly recommend. Uh, and this is the other secondary. You guys know that I covered the FFAR in a different video. With the Bruiser Foregrip, I, again, I don't think I used it in the video. Maybe I did. I feel like I didn't. But this is just going to make the gun even better. Try this setup. You are going to work wonders with it. I promise. And this is just my normal restock Car 98 class. And this is my Ghost one. Oh, and people ask me for my pistol setup. This is what I use on my pistols. Uh, people just don't seem to understand. The reason why I have the stippled on it, because I know people are going to ask questions, is due to the sprint to fire speed. So what this does is when I sprint into a building, this increases or decreases the amount of delay there is between when my character stops sprinting and when I start blasting kids. 
Uh, even though I can't make use of the ADS because we had a Kimbo on it, the uh, sprint to fire speed is very helpful and gets me a lot of extra kills that I wouldn't normally be able to get. This gun is going to be one of those surprises. Uh, I'm also rocking the Bruiser here. We have the 150 round fast mag. Uh, I'm not sure if this attachment's bugged or not, but this gun has no recoil. I've, I've tried it uh, a few times and I'm going to be doing it on stream today. I didn't mention this before, but when you are watching this, I will be streaming today. So please uh, come check it out. It'll be my first stream in like a week. And I'm super excited to, you know, meet all the new people that are going to be coming by. And yeah, hopefully you guys tune in. I should be streaming when this video is live. Obviously, depending on when you watch it, I might not be streaming, but when the video is live, I should be streaming. Uh, copy the setup. The setup is nasty. It has no recoil. Uh, you don't have to use the enemy skin. It's fine, but I'm using it. Same old MP5, and everything else is pretty standard. This M16 build. So I think I made an M16 video the other day, uh, but this is before I discovered the Bruiser Grip from Jgod, and this setup is absolutely gross. That other M16 build that I was running uh, in the Burst Pros video is very good, but at range it's not as good due to the recoil and not having Monolithic on it. Try this setup. I promise you guys, this thing just freaking beams. I'm. Dude, I'm, I'm not even going to lie to you guys, I'm so excited to use these guns now that the DMR is a lot weaker and Bruiser Foregrip got uh, discovered, because these guns are way more fun to use now. Uh, try out this M16, I promise you will not regret it. And now this is a gun that a lot of people have been talking about and a lot of people have wanted to be meta, they said it's the new Kilo. I don't think it's really the new Kilo by any means, but I do think this is probably like the best standard Cold War AR you're going to get as like an actual AR. Uh, now you can try to mess around with the Bruiser Grip on other ones, but this is the best build that I found on the gun. We have the Ranger foregrip or the Ranger Barrel here for the extra bullet velocity. This makes it more of a laser, so when you shoot somebody, uh, there's like no bullet drop. The bullet hits your target instantly. It feels really good. You're obviously going to lose a little bit of that damage compared to if you had uh, the Takedown Barrel, but I think the feeling of the laser is not only more fun to use, but I think it's also a bit better than just doing a little bit more damage. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. I know I did a custom loadout not too long ago, um, but hopefully you guys do enjoy this and you picked up some new guns that you're going to try out. I'm going to be streaming, like I said, I'll be streaming all day tomorrow. Well, I'll be streaming for a good majority of the day. So if you guys want to see me run some different guns or you just want to stop by and say hi and watch some car 98 action, like I said, I'll be live tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for all the love and the patience with the DMR nerfs. We finally made it guys. We're out of the mud. We're out of the trenches. We can play the game again. God bless. I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Thank you guys so much. Peace.